Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. We are doing another uh, another OBD2 uh, uh, scanner and this one is from Autel. This is a code reader and OBD2 scanner, auto VIN quick read. Uh, this is obviously for, for any check engine lights and stuff like that. This is the Autolink AL329. And uh, it's got a secure hookup, I believe that's what it says. But um, anyway, this goes for about I, I I forget what it goes for about thirty nine ninety nine forty nine ninety nine something something like that. This is like the second um, uh, most ex more. This is the second most expensive um, OBD two reader um, that Walmart sells. Um, no batteries required. This is like a direct hookup. Um, you know, it uh, it gives you um, a little bit more of a uh, uh, more thorough readout than the 1999 one. Um, I've actually never had this. Uh, it's got a security sensor, um, and I believe that security sensor. Uh, anyway, it's got like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four buttons, right? As, as opposed to the 1999 one, which is uh, very, very simple. It's, you know, it, the 1999 one is black and white, as you guys can see. This is in color. The whole ready test, um, I, you know what? To be honest with you, I, you know, I don't know what more that this actually does tell you than the other one. It says online factory direct repair guide. Um, apparently, you know, it does actually um, diagnose and repair. You guys subscribe to it. It'll give you um, um, a 30-day subscription. And uh, it actually does give you a little bit of a diagnosis on what could be causing the codes. Which um, which I like. From from my Harbor Freight one that, that I have, um, it actually does give you, like, uh, a, a bunch of different, uh, uh, you know, Things that we could be causing uh, your issues and stuff like that, and, and and how to repair and stuff like that. But uh, it says uh, the Autolink AL329 is a powerful, affordable, and easiest to use 250 DIY. Customers enables users to read and clear diagnostic codes from the onboard computers in 1996 and newer. Uh, the auto feature and recovery identified the manufacturer and they're displaying I am readiness, uh, which is um. Which is, to be honest with you, this is what the 1999 one that, uh, that uh, um, you know, the hyper tough one that, you know, that this is the same thing that it does, but this one is a little bit more expensive. Uh, supports multiple trouble codes, request generic codes, pending codes, manufacturer specific codes. I don't know if it actually gives you um, a, a more in depth read and analyzes DTCs, erases DTCs, reads and displays IM monitor status views, freeze frame data, reads and displays bin. Uh, resets and turns off MIL using the use, um, uh, easy to use with, with, uh, with a plugin. All right, guys. Um, I don't actually think that this this actually um does any more than the than, than the twenty dollar one. Um, to be honest with you, if I had to choose between this and the twenty dollar one, that that. The, the hyper tough one, I would definitely choose the hyper tough one um, over this one because this is like 40 bucks, something like that 40 or 50 bucks. Um, it probably, you know, this is like a name brand, Autel is a name brand company that, that does this. Um, it's got a color screen, it, um, it's uh, water resistant, grease and water resistant, read and erase codes. Um, you know, um, it's really, it's really not much more. It's probably, it's really not much more than uh, what what the Hyper Tough does. And uh, if I had to choose between a forty dollar or fifty dollar um, OBD two and a twenty dollar OBD two, I'd probably get the the Hyper Tough one, um, which is the one I have. I have the Hyper Tough one. Um, this really doesn't read out more than um, than what the Hyper Tough does, except you know this this. Uh, this, you know, Autel is uh, more of a name brand than, than Hyper Tough, and I guess you're paying a 20, 20 to 30 dollars more for the brain, uh, for the, uh, for the brand name. But um, outside of that, I don't think this is gonna um, give you any more of a more in-depth reading than, than, than the, um, than the Hyper Tough. But, but anyway, um, if you guys have this, um, I see a little USB port on there. Um, uh, you, you could probably hook it up to your computer or whatever you, to, to, to get to get like that whole analysis diagnosis and repair and stuff like that um, which I don't know if that's like a better I don't know I don't know if that's like a, a you know 
it'd be great if it, it was, you know, it would be a more of a positive thing if it was on the unit itself instead of you needing to plug into to a separate uh, computer to, to, to get on the website to uh, look up these fixes for these codes and stuff like that. But I, I guess... I guess if if uh, if you guys want that extra little feature, I mean you guys could actually do that on online, pretty much. You know it'll give you normally, uh, you know, you know any of these will give you a code. You know, and uh, it'll probably it'll probably be easy for you guys to go online, go on Google, and just pop in those codes, and it'll tell you the exact same thing. Probably give you a more in depth. Uh, look at um, you know what the causes of it is and what the fixes of it is. But regardless. Uh, regardless, um, I probably wouldn't, you know, I probably wouldn't pay forty dollars or fifty dollars for this. To be honest with you, um, if, you know, if, you know, I, I'd probably go like ten dollars more for for the Wi-Fi one, and uh, you know that that uh, hype, the Wi-Fi one from HyperTuff, I was going to get it at one point because it actually does have a lot more features than than um, than this one. So, um, anyway, if you guys have used this and you guys want to leave your opinion in the opinion section, let us all know um, how it's worked out for you. Um, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. Um, on top of that, if this has helped you guys out in any way, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please, um, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Leave a comment. All that good stuff. All right, guys. Take care.